6.30 p.m. West of Stonewall, the 115 kV H-frame line CN8 undergoes extreme galloping of its ground conductors, caused by the ice buildup and the wind thrashing the line. Northeast of Stonewall, the 66 kV Line 37 is buffeted by high winds. Ice has built up to a half inch thickness around the conductors. The combination of 40 mile per hour winds and ice is causing extreme galloping. If the ice is allowed to accumulate around the conductors, the galloping action plus the forces of the ice and wind will eventually cause the failure of the line. It is decided that favorable conditions allow for the use of ice melting procedures. This is done by installing a three-phase short on the line, which produces a current sufficient to raise the temperature of the conductors into ice melting range. This causes the conductors to heat, resulting in the ice melting. Within five minutes, sections of ice are falling off. As the current is applied, close observation reveals water forming along the conductor before the ice falls. Line 37. As well as forming on the 66 kV line, the ice continued to form on the trees. After the removal of the ice, the galloping action of the conductors has been arrested.